Hi class, I want to take a few minutes here and talk about some uh, different options of how to create the reflected ceiling plan. There's a demo in the lecture that talks about using the hatch tool to create the grid. Perfectly fine, you can certainly do, do it that way. I wanted to show you an alternate, alternate method and also talk about kind of the pluses and minuses of both of the methods. So what I've done is I've put in a grid exactly the way that the uh, lecture specified and showed with the uh, hatch at uh, the net hatch at 190 scale with the origin point in this corner. Now for the women's restroom I'm going to put in the grid using just lines and offset and what I'm going to do I'm actually going to center my grid in the room you can certainly have it where you've got a, a full grid in one corner of the room, but oftentimes you center the grid in the room. It kind of helps to be able to lay out the light fixtures evenly. And sometimes it looks, you know, it's a nicer look if everything's kind of centered and even. So I'm going to do a line from the midpoint perpendicular here. And what I'm going to do is do a distance so that I can see how far away that midpoint is from this corner. So it's six foot eight. So I need to decide if I'm going to have a tile in the middle of the room or if I'm going to have a grid line in the middle of the room. Given that I have six foot eight, I'm going to put a tile in the middle of the room because otherwise I'm going to have an eight inch strip on, on both sides. So I'm going to offset my line by one foot on either side to start with to get that center tile. I'm going to erase my center line here and then offset by two foot in either direction. Okay, so to get the lines going the other direction, I'm going to do the same thing. Just draw my line horizontally from the midpoint. And again, I'm going to check my distance. So I've got nine feet. So if I put a tile in the center of the room, then I will have equal spacing. Um, I'll have a two foot tile on, the, on either side. So I'm going to do an offset one foot. And then again, I'm going to erase my middle line and offset by two foot. So then I end up with a full tile here. Okay, so I've got my grid in. And clearly putting in the, the hatch can be a little bit faster than putting in the line using offset. Um, but I want to show you some comparisons between the two. Now, one of the problems with using the hatch method is you can never get the um, squares to be exactly two foot by two foot. Or if you want to use a two by four grid, then that brings another issue. Um, so you, you're not always going to have a two foot by two foot grid. Sometimes it is going to be a two foot, uh, two by four grid. So um, the using the line and offset gives you the flexibility to pick whichever size you need. Now the next uh, issue that we have is placing light fixtures. So I'm going to just copy. I've got a two by two fluorescent indirect light fixture, and let me go into my O snaps here for a minute and get rid of my insertion point. Okay, so I'm going to copy based on this endpoint. Now when I put it into the room that has the hatch, what happens is I can't snap to that intersection. So I have to kind of zoom in, get it as close as I possibly can, try to get my crosshairs lined up, place it, but it's never going to be quite exact. And you can also see here that, um, so my light is exactly two foot by two foot, but our grid isn't quite really two foot by two foot because it, you can see it's overhanging a little bit in both directions. Now, if I want to place that same light fixture in the one just using lines, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make sure I'm catching my intersection, you can see I can snap right to that intersection. I can also very easily just copy if I've got several lights and just, you know, keep placing them. 
So it makes it a little bit easier to place the lights and to get them exact. Um, now the other benefit to um, using the, the line and offset method is if your light fixture is not the same size as your grid. So let's say I want to use a 2x4 light fixture instead of a 2x2. So let me erase these. Now if I copy this fixture over to my hatch one here, again I have to try to get it lined up as close as I can. Now what happens is I've got a grid line that's going through my light fixture. Now in in reality, if I looked up at the light fixture, the, that grid line would not be there, but there's no real way to, you can't trim it. So um, if I use that same, let me get the light fixture from up here, copy, the same 2 by 4 light fixture and place it in the grid using the lines, what I can do is I can do a trim and I can trim that grid line so that it's not running through the light fixture. So, you know, again, this definitely has a speed advantage as far as um, placing grid, especially when you, I mean, we're going to be placing grid through this whole area. So it would take a little while to, you know, do all your lines through here and do the offset. Um, throughout all of these galleries, but at the same time, the line and offset method allows you more precision in placing your light fixtures. It allows you more flexibility in the type of grid you're using and the type of lights you're using. So I just wanted to kind of go through those two ways. You're free to use either method that you want. Um, I recommend even trying both of them and see what you think, but um, I just wanted you to have the information and let me know if you have any questions.